We have new shapes by Charlie XCX featuring Christine in the Queens and Caroline Polacek. Um, she, so Charlie XCX announced that she's going to release a new album or making a new album. I don't know when. Do you know when it will be released? Uh, early next year. Is, we're starting okay. to get around that time where the 2022 albums are starting to get announced. Uh, we got Very an true. announcement for Earth Gang, um, but like that Earth Gang product has been announced for a long period of time. But yes, it's true. 2022, like the thing about when you're announcing a project in uh, late 2021, saying it could come out in 2022, that's a lot of runway you're giving yourself. So, um, yes, yeah, let's take five days. But, anyways, back to Charlie XCX. There should be a new album coming out soon. This, along with Good Ones, which we didn't talk about before, it has come out already, oh. but we didn't talk about it before on Audio Face, so it doesn't break the singles rule, um, seem to be our little sort of like uh, inclination, our understanding of what we'll get from Charlie XCX in the newest project. And um, it seems to be kind of a continuation of her like pop throwbacks kind synth, of thing. Yes, synth yeah. 80s pop is what I would say. Lots of like 80s synth sound, pretty like standard pop, everything in there. But so decent track, no, that's just nothing offensive, nothing brilliant or whatnot. So, um, but it's it's good. I mean, we liked um, her two previous records that we talked about, uh, we reviewed on the podcast. Um, this track I was kind of a little underwhelmed with, but again, I'll get the full context when we get the whole album, but it's a decent pop sound nonetheless. Yeah, it has those like um, <clears throat> echoey 80s drums in the background yeah. that make it feel like a Rick Astley track um, in, in the best ways possible. It, it sounds really interesting. Um, not like something like uh, the Charlie XCX's last album just had a lot of like just thin, like not even the quarantine album. The, sorry, not the quarantine album. The one after before that, uh, I think Next Charlie. Level Charlie's name was, was that just had a lot of like pop hits that just like blew off out of that. Yes. Um, Maybe good ones is that I haven't heard it yet because of singles rule, but yeah, I'm not hearing it quite from new shapes, but it is like a pretty like interesting track that's kind of throwing back in that sense. Yep. Next one we have the dress by Dijon. Um, Dijon he released a full album, I believe, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, twelve songs, thirty-one minutes long. That passes for a full album nowadays. Um, just kidding. I mean, we, we call that a drop, but um, it's very short yeah. and indie, especially. Um, you can we've talked about it on this podcast mm. as well. You can do a lot with that short period of time. Um, and yeah, we just didn't get a chance to review uh that this, this week along with Parcel, so not to do mm -hmm. too much of an indie snub this week. But um, I thought we would do one track, and the dress I thought was pretty interesting. It's like pure clean like what indie sounds like in 2021 distilled to a track yeah i mean i like it um i like the whole drop and and um the, the record i thought is pretty good so um it's just hard to review so much music on this podcast but i thought the dress is a good actually a pretty good pick for the record so it's yeah a pretty good representation of it and male indie artists are doing a little bit better now but you know i'm, I'm all for it yeah, male indie artist up one. <laughs> Female indie artist up 35. 38. So, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, we're on the board. No, no, no. Um, yeah, it's, it's, we're coming up on the end of the year. We're coming up on award season. Should be really fun for the Audio Face Awards. And uh, lastly, apropos of nothing, Travis Scott released two singles this week, one of which happens to be called Escape Plan. And we're going to hold our tongue for a news story that is actually really sad, but is incredibly... Yeah, it's pretty bad. But, you know, given the context of the name of the song and Travis Scott, you know, it's here. You know. But, but, you know, like the, the song was released on a Friday or, you know, a Thursday. So apparently Travis Scott is also coming up with a um, follow-up to Astro World, the album, Um and it's a long time coming that came out in 2018. And there are songs from that that were floating around in 2016 even. Mm -hmm. Sounds okay. I yeah, just it, think his production and, and stuff is very lackluster to me. It's stuck in that time capsule of mid-2010s trap where it's like that's where he got popular from. His ad-libs and stuff, he does the same ad-libs over and over again in any of his features as well, as, as well as his... Um, his solo work and mm, yeah, yeah. It's, it's disappointing yeah it, you want to see a lot more growth from artists uh, more on that later when you get growth from artists over a period of time but with travis scott you i mean production wise with escape plan and there's also mafia that's on here as a double drop but we're just doing escape plan on here because so much music um you get kind of like the you know muffled trap sounds like the darker trap sounds you get from travis scott but some other flows that you saw kind of popping up in 2017 so it's will be interesting to see if um travis scott's 
full record that comes out after this will, you know, um, push the boundaries so much as Astro World is being accredited to doing so mm -hmm. um, back when it came out. So yeah, with Travis Scott, hopefully he can come out with some newer sound um, from his second yeah. project and because yeah he's being credited for doing so much with his like do on a mainstream uh line with his music but um let's see what he's got afterwards we've got more on travis scott in just a second however um i want to get through some plugs really quickly the 2021 af playlist is rounding out we are adding our um favorites from this year and if you we're going to give people some opportunities uh later this month as well um but if you have some favorites from year 2021 that you want on the playlist send them our way if you have some singles that you want us to review um throughout the weeks send them our way our email is audioface at syndicate 23.co that is audioface at syndicate 23.co um check out our bonus episodes we did one recently on um actually we haven't done any recently but we'll be changing that uh very soon especially when we come into the new year but we've done them on kendrick lamar who should be releasing music very soon uh we've done them on radiohead who is uh releasing music well released music just this week unreleased music just this week uh a bunch of other things check them out check out audio face pod on twitter and instagram um, check out PowerPort, the most recent PowerPort episode we did. A lot of people are loving that as they do with PowerPort episodes. It's a really good political podcast. We do say so myself. Um, we talked about labor issues and the um, worker strikes that are happening in Hollywood as well as um, elsewhere throughout the American economy. Um, the American economy is really interesting right now. We'll continue to be interesting. So check out PowerPort for that stuff. And thank you, Peter at Dead Music Productions for mastering this episode and episodes of PowerPort at Dead Music 666 on Insta is the place you can find them.